uh, I'm very happy uh, to uh, uh, finish the 10th cycle of C City uh, uh, C City conversation series uh, with today's lecture. Uh, so we have successfully conducted about uh, more than 80 sessions, uh, and uh, it'll it'll finish. Uh, uh, five years of C conversations at this space. For those of whom uh, I, I see a few new uh, 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 faces here, uh, just to kind of uh, again uh, say that uh, C City Conversation Series is a platform for uh, uh, discussion on architecture and cultural issues, and we invite a, a range of uh, professionals and. Uh, 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 people from different kinds of disciplines, different kinds of backgrounds to talk to students of architecture and uh, expand their uh, ways of thinking about architecture. Uh, and so uh, uh, in, in that continuing series, today we have a very interesting um, uh, architect, uh, architecture practice uh, studio Artha from Pune. Uh, we have Saurabh Malpani, who is the principal uh, uh, principal architect of Artha Studio, uh, and uh, I will just quickly read uh, read out his short biography, which is extremely kind of interesting uh, in the kind of engagements that he has had so far. Uh, uh, so uh, one is that uh, he has uh, had the opportunity of apprenticing with two great masters, uh, one in Sri Lanka, Jeffrey Bawa, and the other uh, uh, is Alvaro Caesar. So he is, and I would uh, really like Saurabh if you can uh, talk to us about how you were able to kind of, you know, make your way through their studios. Um, uh, he graduated from the school of, uh, uh, the Sept University School of Architecture in Ahmedabad in 2003. And uh, then, uh, 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 then uh, the Netherlands, uh, yeah, uh, and uh, he went for an exchange program at the Netherlands through SEPT, uh, and then finally uh, came uh, came to Pune to uh, kind of start a studio. Uh, so, without further kind of delay, I, I'll uh, invite Saurabh to uh, come and talk about his uh, in in engagements as well as his works. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, thanks to C College, Rupali, Prasad, and everybody. When Rupali called me and was behind, I was not sure because two months back I gave a lecture. I said I don't want to show same thing. And it will be not interesting. It doesn't help, at least for my neurons, which way they go. But Divya also worked with me and it was nice, was also looking forward to come to the school so that I can see uh, my friends who came, uh, some of you as a jurors, always spoke highly. So that was one of the reasons I was a little keen to come and show. Uh, I s called this lecture called Paradigm of Projects, which is our, our, my 10 years of practice and what went from processes to progress. Studio is called Artha, and Artha means meaning. What we try, like to do throughout our practice is to do, build something meaningful. Just not, it should be nice, but it should be meaningful what we do. To give you background, the foundation in architecture for me happened in SEPT. I was batch of 96. SEPT also allows you not to be finish your course in five years, which was good. If you are good, you take more years. That was more interesting there. If you're bad, you finish early. So in third year, I went to train under Jeffrey Baba, and the story we can tell afterwards. Both the, they were, they were, both the bizarre stories went how I get, got in. So SEPT played a very important role because I come from a very small town called Sangamner and from Sangamner the shift happened to Ahmedabad and suddenly you are with a big bunch of very bright students and how you deal with them as well as your smart professors who are very challenging and as your professors. Well, this was in 99, I went to do uh, intermediate training with Jeffrey Bava briefly 
Bawal's practice state had a practice of making models. But because I could only understand my buildings through models, we started making models in the office. And that's how, these are a few projects which I worked upon. So, sorry, I'll just go back. The one, a second image you see on top is where we had to make certain rooms, yeah, uh, which Baba wanted, which were not sea facing rooms, and what we could give new things. This. So we came up with the long association Baba had with Ina De Silva, who was a batik artist. We got her batik and the sauna courtyard room. So that was the idea which we had for the project. Then after finishing my architecture, uh, I did my research thesis on Alvaro Siza. Because when I was in Delft, I went to see his lot of work and I found strange resemblance between Bawa's architecture and Caesar's architecture. Though Caesar's architecture was very strong with forms, Bawa's architecture was not so as strong. So this is one of the few projects which I worked. This is Villa Tresh in Villa Colonze, which had a Palladian house and Caesar was making seven houses around. So this was, I only worked on a house number three as a help, not as a main architect. This was also another interesting project, uh, which is yet to finish because of final recession which happened in Europe in 2010. But this was whole, it was a luxury village modified, um, updated with Siza and Moneo uh, in Pamplona, near Panticosa in the USK region of Spain. This is the project which I will shortly show how the brief happened and this is the project I worked for three years with Siza. This was a conservation project uh, with uh, him in Naples. So first time I, as I joined uh, from the visit he came back and he sh gave me on this tiny 20 centimeter paper. This is the basic footprint. This is section AB. So it's called Corte AB. Corte AB and this is what is happening. It says all the studies and this one more. There's two sketches and this is how we started. So I was 24, he was 75, he had a 50 years of practice, but uh, I was a project architect. And I, said, Dude, I always wanted to do masters in conservation. And this was a project which I was actually doing a conservation. So that's how I dropped the masters and this is what we did. I will quickly show you only one part of the project because it's not easy to explain the whole project. So there was a one connecting bridge. If you see this, bridge here and there's this bridge which had to connect because of the different levels. It's the 18th century palace or Haveli uh, which was getting converted into Museum of Contemporary Art. So these are the sketches we got. He had an idea of connecting one this to here initially with wooden bridge then wooden bridge was not possible because of the fire regulation and then we did the Cotton Iron Bridge because this side was a gallery permanent exhibition of Richard Serra. Richard Serra is a sculptor who worked strongly in Cotton Iron and to tribute to him, we also made a Cotton Iron Bridge. It's a 25 mm thick sheet, the metal sheet, which goes from here to restaurant. So these are the details with working with engineers and then this is what the outcome was. So this was the intervention happened in Second World War, which we kept as it was. Other thing was very small, small details, like how in a new place where we had a vaulted ceiling, how to fix the ready-made fixtures, which are museum fixtures from Airco. So we only developed this. So this is actually a paper model, which we studied. They made the drawing, and this was what it was at the museum. Going ahead, I came back, got married, and settled in Pune. So, in, from 2008 to 2016, we had a very beautiful studio designed by Girish Doshi. He had his old studio, which was closed down, or he never found anybody to give. That is, whichever way you want to keep. And I was lucky to uh, have this studio for my initial practice. Very inspiring space, uh, 200 square feet. Six people sitting not next to each other on split level, two people up, two 
and two people down. So sorry, two people up, down, two people up, and then there's one and up. So I was actually a receptionist. <laughs> what we do? We design as an architect, then we develop, we detail, we demonstrate. So whole lecture is divided in all these things. So this is one of the early projects of ours where client wanted to have extension to farmhouse. And I was just back from Portugal. R in Portuguese means air and foley is termed by Bernard Schumi. It's a built object having nothing specific use. So this is my parents town. Two river meets, therefore it's called Sangam there. And this small Kasavadi settlement and this was a client site extension to farmhouse. He wanted a tree house and that's how we started. Started and then slowly requirements became bigger and bigger and we said we can't have false tree house. We can't make tree because there's a lot of black ants. We can't we don't want to make in steel. And we ended up doing something more interesting, simple, where one of the requirements was I want to sleep under the sky, which I used to do at my childhood. So what we do, we have this space as required, these two people with winch pulley system opens the roof out and you have open to sky. And also same time it becomes a double volume, this space, then you want like Sangeet or whatever program you can open this roof, you have double volume, single volume. Other detailing we didn't need a really, so nobody was looking into us, so we had a simple bamboo thing which you can pull, push, and window stays. And simple because it's a rural site where eight hours, there, a lot of time there's no electricity, so everything is worked out mechanically. Children also can open and close. We moved to another next project, which was, again, in the same town, an interesting requirement. So client lives on Pedal Road, still. Practiced in Hinduja and KM for 50 years of his life, wanted to come back to his ancestral home. So this was a property plot, around 3,000 square feet. I had this section, actually this is the original section of the house. And because nobody lived in the house for 18 years, it was dilapidated. It was, this area was fallen down. This was the area was luckily in a very good condition. What was fallen down, we added this structure for his home. This was given to NGO on rent. This was his house. So from outside, it looks any other urban uh, town of Maharashtra or any Ratla or any place. So we, we kept this and we added this floor because what was fallen down, we added this with whatever material we had. The front area, which was an old wing we call, was given to NGO, so made in two horns. Being a Maharadi, he wanted colors, so we came up with Jaisalmer. In between the old wing and new wing, we had a courtyard. So this was converted, the between was elderly people's associations meetings, which happens once in a week. This was made a children playground, once in a, twice in a week, they could come and read the books and play around. So slides, waterfall. And this new wing, which was made out of the, whatever material was fallen down with, from the stone, was this, the studio apartment for him. So living, dining, uh, sleeping, and kitchen dining. So flooring is uh, made with roof, load bearing, steel structure. So this is load bearing, then there's a steel uh, post and beam structure. Other than bamboo sheets and the steel structure, I think most of the places, everything is what it was. Some utensils were converted into the light fixtures. And this was the case when we taken over. So it took us almost four and a half years to reach to that place. One was a budget constraint because whole project had to finish below 20 lakhs. It was 5,000 square feet. So labor went to 12 and a half lakh rupees and 8 lakhs, 8 or 7 lakhs rupees were the material. 
this one page, I will explain you detail how we work in the studio. This is a farmer's abroad, which we did in 2015, we finished. So this client came in 2011 or 10 to my office. He is a mechanical engineer by profession, but by choice, he has had an ancestral land, decided to do the farming, 28 acres of land. And we didn't know how to do it with him. Every time he used to come up with design, he has to have some other things. So in studio, we always some training comes, always to design farmer's house, looking towards north. Entry should be from north, and there's a well, and there's a tree, what we call Mara, uh, Maharashtan Park. So there are two, and the third, there's a mountain range, which I will show you, I think. So why I'm showing the geographical map, this is a very rich area of Maharashtra, Western Maharashtra. You have a river. If you see in Google, so much green is there. So sugar can build. So farmers are rich. This is was this original house from 60s, which was made in mud and brick. And the requirement was, this was made for my grandfather or great-grandfather. I have a tractor sheet, but I don't. Ha I can't stay overnight. I had to come back to the town. And in the north, there is a, a medieval cave where some. It's a, one of the Devi's name, name Devi's temple, and this was the view. So therefore, this was a park, approach road, park, and after the park, there is a well. So this was a five years. We did a lot of interesting possibilities. So I think it's M1, M2. Whatever we design, with, because this guy is a farmer, you have to put every all kind of furniture and say, okay, there are bedi dharane wale, study yahan aega. One more option, there are bolero idhar aega, thi bolero nahi aega. Then more ideas, and process kept on, we kept changing, entry chahiye, nahi chahiye, piche jana hai, aage jana hai. And we ended up with this, where it, it is not a farmhouse, it's a house in the farm. The difference is he works whole day in the farm and he wants to get away from the people. So he didn't want a view. That was a very good thing. Other thing is the sugar can build. We have a lot of leopards. I've seen leopards two times. So I have one side where we have a CCTV and we have a leopard nine times. So for that, that was one reason. I want a security from leopards, serpents, and I don't want to have view. I want my life inside. So you enter, there's a buffer, you can open your shoes, go, there's a living veranda with powder room, courtyard, dining veranda, mandir, kitchen, shower, bedroom study, cupboard study, bedroom, and then private court. And then there's servant entry from utility, basic sections. This is wall section, the way it happens, the composite wall structure. So below is a black cotton soil. That's how we had a foundation in concrete with piles, and then there's a stone with brick. And in between, again, it's always, always a challenge. You say, let's go for a old wood. He said, no, I'm not going to go. Then you find who he prays. He prays to Maruti, then you find Maruti temple is going down in some part of village. You say, there's an auction happening. Can you buy it? Maruti is blessing you. And that's how you get old wood. And this is the final, I think, whatever. Oh yeah, this is the final model where we also had jokes that to yase name Devi ka darshan bedroom se le sakta hai. We make a periscope. When we broke his old house, we salvaged the old bricks from his uncle's old paper factory. We had a fire bricks from the Maruti temple. We had a wood and the roofing tile, again the wood from the Maruti temple and these are the craftsmen which we worked with, all 70 plus, phenomenal hand craftsmen, had a great knowledge and still have a legacy of making very good buildings. First pit to check out the black cotton soil, we could not go till 17 feet, I think it was a black cotton soil, we stopped. Then we made a pile foundation. This was an interesting intervention because he being a mechanical engineer, loves technology. We have a drip irrigation for curing. Phone se chalu karo, drip irrigation, phone se ban karo. Motor pump, so curing was taken very well care of wherever he was. Basic composite structure. I was not sure which flooring we are going to have. So we made a colored PCC. 
Marxists, he was almost negligible other than the foundation. So where we needed roof, we had a brick vault, nameplate finalized, so he can't change the name of the house. <laughs> then he was over enthusiastic because initially we only were supposed to have a stone till four feet, till foundation. But he had a good, good crop of pomegranate, which paid him 15 lakh rupees at one stretch. So we made it whole. So this was interesting. We needed a long stone for our lintels. And long stones to get that knowledge from by hand is gone, at least in our area. But these were the long stones which were still available on the wells. For the wells, you needed a long stones to get the water out. So we, he paid and got a long stones and we had two long stones extra. So one was broken, so we turned into half, converted to our dining table. Then the wood, he had too much wood then because of Maruti. So we said, Abhi paisa itna rich So all the normally which is done with Danda Pata, which is a big uh, main, uh, and then in between you have a small wood, which we have continuously wood. The construction details, he had told a story that I had a girl who, who was working and labor decided not to listen from the woman because it's a very rural area. And there are two ways, either you listen to her or only check the drawings. So this was other our intervention, we make everything explanatory through the SketchUp model. We never did this, but for this model, this project we had to do everything. So there was the veranda had different kind of spanning systems. This is the way it works. Also, interestingly, it doesn't have a truss. So idea was it works like a boat, which is inverted. So same detail of boat was done. And this part had a different spanning system where the wood spans like this. So this is this way and this is that way. And when it finishes, it goes directly. So that side had a old tiles and this two places are new tiles. So from outside, other challenge was this was a collaboration because they, here I listened to the craftsman. This was only my design intervention, rest is theirs. This was my intervention. I said I want one stone, solid stone monolith window. And they said we can't make it. And they said we will give you long chisels. We gave a long chisels and they made it. So it's one two feet by two feet by two feet stone converted to two feet by two feet by one and a half feet final. So nobody can enter, so there are no grills. It's 15 by 15 centimeter window. They work like a wind scoop. Hard air goes out. It's uh, replaced by the air surrounding. Again, there's no electricity. So you have a thread to pull the bell. So again, going uh, analogy with Maruti temple, we continue. You enter, we were convinced and still recently when actually I forgot to put two, three images. I recently visited two weeks back where he had a big puja. Very religiously, he puts the cow down. Initially, he was, Are you nuts? I said, yes, can you try at least once? And since then, other intervention, they put the color in that. So once you put the gober, it remains for 40 days the same. So it doesn't fade away. And because it's on PCC, it remains. So it's an insulation for the lakes. So barefoot, very more medicinal now. He's into uh, DC guy business. So that also helps all things work. Fire, sorry. Go back. This is the fire. The other idea, it's only one bedroom house. Many relatives cast on Yamale, the relatives to Veranda Mesoinga, and you can have a, in some uh, winter, can have bonfire and they can sleep. Nothing can be blocked, so everything is fixed furniture broadly. Windows, they, as I said, wind scoop, only where to put again a mosquito, not mosquito net, a net where serpent tanks, serpents do not come in the dining. Again, there was a big asset, you can sit down on. But for the elderly, he had to have an elevated beta. That's how. So beta is also interesting. This beta can roll all over the earth. That's the way it is designed.
prayer mandir. And only luxury has is in bedroom where he had a, gets a wooden flooring. So all salvage wood, which was extra, gets into ceiling and gets. Actually, it was only meant for ceiling, but I think he had more left, so got into the. So built up bed, terracotta tiles, shower open to sky, which was his in old house, worked well. And the tall window. I think there's a one window. Which all hot air has to get escaped, so that detail comes all the way come down. In the evening, it's nice because he drinks the wine also. So that was the right idea. Parallelly, we were doing we were doing one of the big projects where another dairy owner wanted a vada. So he came, I wanted a vada. I said, but you don't wear the dhoti. He said, I want a vada. I said, but you don't uh, you ride the horse. So we had a very interesting discussion. I said, "Okay, I can give you Vada, which will be very modern. We will not construct into the. We will construct into concrete because of the spans and brick, and we will do to the material. So these are the initial sketches. How we went. Yeah, I think original one of the design was with three coats. Then family discussion. Then we ended up with two coats. He's a." Uh, Politician also, this becomes a, actually a more public court that becomes a family court, and then model, and then more detailed models about the courts, and this was an execution phase. So interesting part, what we did for from the Vada, we had a courtyard as a typology, we had a thick wind walls, which uh, makes more insulating material. On the roof, because it's a rural site again, we had a. Uh, 21,000 earthen pots on top of the slab to make a extra insulation, and this is the end product. There we found this. These are actually from the Bombay Chur Bazaar, which we found. So keep this. And Paris Money was his father's name. This was a depiction because when we said your house is coming up well, he should hire art because he had a money. He said, what What is art? I said, okay, kitna paisa hai? You you allot the money, we'll decide that. So we commission all artwork. So this is a depiction of artist about clan that he has too much power and energy. And rest I don't have to say. Uh, the first courtyard is public courtyard had a copper cladded balcony. Other thing, uh, I'll go back. We found it was very cheaper to make a copper cladded door than the PU. Because they stay longer, you don't have to maintain, and they oxide is the way they want. This is inside the family court where you have a extra bed hooks, and because they into dairy business, he wanted a kama denu. So it is also made with lots of gods, another kama den. Then the politicians they also wear the navgraha pasabangutia. How do you depict navgraha? So there were now gra where we already made one gra surya because they are surya onshis and another installation which happens at first floor. We could not find any modern intervention for Tulsi Vrindavan. So this was 200 tile stacks with a terracotta, which is where you can put dia and do the Tulsi Vrindavan and also use in the everyday evening prayer time. So actually, there are three types of railings. One, which you can sit at this level, where you will not fall. There is a bite hook in one of the railings, and the last railing you hardly see it. That's the way it is designed. So while doing all these four projects, from a studio point of view, what we documented, let's say in Vada, which are the local crafts we required: pottery, brick baking, carpentry, wood carving, and what. Are they are like stone machinery struggling? Brick picking because there is a lot of construction is thriving. Pottery again struggling because people don't use pottery is only for thand garmi ke time matka or in Sankranti they when they use this matka. So in Sankranti time our pot of five rupees became ten rupees when we wanted to buy. So that's how. So these are the interesting documentation what went and from which part what kind of craftsman came. 
which how much money went to like in the wada only 53% of money went to the local labor while in farmers abroad it was almost 77% money was gone into that village some places like the other which were conservation project 80% money went so it was very interesting to see craftsmen from there was a indian craftsmen 72 but only local craftsmen were 20 for some places like here if you see the proportion 70 80% were from local people so it was very why this project all the craftsmen were from local so this documentation also help we do for a project which are from rural side not for urban because urban part you can't keep where the labor is coming from it is mostly contractor so this is recently finished project which i put to this is one of the nursery school we finished in pune where it is a pre primary from a play group till nursery where client wanted a building that was his requirement only building and we said okay we can have a building but it can do more than that so we worked on this three possibilities how the activities can be in spaces how the retreat spaces can be in the activity and the permutation combination how children can understand these are the studies which are available online as well as in books what will stimulate children and sorry i will go back the initial sketches in model i'll show you the basic section not in detail so how the light comes from about site and cross ventilation because my strong was we can't have ac and the client said we have to have ac for the new schools i said you can't and that's how we had agreement and finally we ended up not doing so it is a barrier free the graphics is done the way children will understand which is entry which is exit cost was a very strong factor so we had a fixed mattress parking tiles we had polish so this was also loose spaces how children will take care of their spaces some classroom which are classrooms when there is a class sometimes there can be fun they can extend towards the courtyard outside the court area outside can become a water park or water body when the classes summer blackboard other educational things and the vertical movements how ground floor is connected to first floor there some places where children can sit can watch but can't throw the pencil out and there some where they become a detective igloo so where they can we work on it and there's some which we worked with artists where they can be like a musical chair and there's a the second level there's a bridge which connects from this level to that level and upper upper becomes a class so here you have a store uh, sorry exhibit whatever they make you can exhibit here i think uh, next there's a slide where it explains and there's a funny mirror so here these are the places where whatever they make can be shown Uh, as a showcase these are their closet and this is for the open to get the hot air or for a cross ventilation to get the air out this is a reflection funny mirror this here the slab was polished and uh, epoxy was painted on top of it at upper level i think we managed to have a very good quality slab so it is just remained as a slab because of contour the uh, behind it is uh, one more floor gets extra added if you go down and there's amphitheater and analogy of facade is incorporated into the storage this is second inning home we just finished in virar where again the more than the architecture ngo was interested finish the building in with architecture interior less than 1500 rupees a square feet and i think we managed in 1350 with solar water to 32 individual toilets because toilets are the very expensive part of the building but here we could manage that other the building had a green color because it's a second inning how that can happen and also in 
it was coding that this can be Mr. D'Souza's balcony, that can be some other. From outside, it's hidden, in, hides into the green. And it was a centenary year of the style movement. So certain colors were also added with the style movements. There are a lot of interactive spaces uh, in between two wings, how people from upper level to down level, from down to more ground can interact with each other. And for the heavy rains, only slits were given and the rain curtain comes at the time of monsoon. And this is a typical one, one, one uh, study table with two beds, uh, wash basin outside and then there's a toilet. I think. The, and then in one class, the way it was designed, it can have a permutation combination. And if the f couple, they can also join the bed. The one project which we, I'm only showing as a pro uh, process, oh, wow, wow. Um, which was just a process, but it was an interesting process. It was actually Bhaktanivas for one of the religious mo sect who wanted a building. And that time, apparently, I was reading Alvaro Alto's book, and it says, it has been said that the space truly belongs to you when its roof comes into you. And other than this Bhaktanivas program, they wanted a place where people look within themselves. So we were working on certain possibilities, how roof can help to do the same. The initial sketches, and these are the six possibilities we came up the retrospection to refer back, introspection to look within, inspection to judge own moves, sola, state of peace, content, satisfaction, cogitation, state of deep thinking and contemplation to meditate for future. And how we can get all this through build forms was one of the interesting, more like a studio thing which we did. So we said, well, let's make all same size of cylinder which can vary in the heights. One can be in retrospection, introspection, inspect, solace, contain, contemplate, cogitate. And this is, I think, viewed towards from solace. Then make a model. We studied the, how the roof will get, what some places will not have a roof. And this was an uh, image. This trade didn't happen because client didn't agree the clause of the contract. So here it was ex uh, experiment, uh, experiencing the horizontally is to more to do with the down to earth nature, which connects the common man with surrounding, whereas the vertical atis represents the race of nature as an individual. So you connect the X, Z axis to X, Y axis. A few ongoing projects. This is one of the house we are doing in Varga. The reason to take this house, I met one of my seniors from set and he was making he is doing a lot of work in line called firm called indigo design and his observation was lime allows the temperature of the house four degrees cooler and Varda also has CSV center for science for villages which makes the walls so this is cooler walls which they it's not mine to innovation they do this very locally there we only salvage the door windows and play a plan in such a way that when house is finished, so it will work. Motor is in line. Only the ring beams for the earthquakes are in concrete. The rest everything is in line and the plaster is going to come in line. This is another project we are doing with uh, Madhushala, uh, which is a very good practice also from Pune in Bolpur next to Shantiniketan near Shantiniketan. It's a Gurukul for ball singing. The first build form on the site was a practice or the performing place. It's a six meter uh, load bearing arches which takes care of 50 feet uh, octagonal roof. The, in between the roof then there's a mud filling. The muds are mud big walls are mud blocks are from the site with the local craftsman. So it's a lot of local knowledge. It's not our great intervention. Our intervention is only the designing the language of the aesthetic of the building. So these are the where we need 
where the wear tear happens and the wear loading is required, it happens with brick and there of course loading also uh, taken care by the mud wall and there are more of our aesthetic reasons they come out and it is also for a bowl singing so how surge they do the surge practice the containment of the labor and this is the last one so I think this is from where we practice this is our studio in Pune I shifted it for my personal reasons where I needed a place very close to my home. I could not find, but I could find a shop. It's the old shop in the complex. Not a complex, it was a thin society, so it's a gated society, but had one, two, three, four, five, seven shops. So we taken one shop, had actually a original entry was from here, but because of the staircase, we could enter from here. And those are RCC column. That was the and well, I sit here. The collaborators sit with me next to each other. There's a discussion table, model making table, and library. So when you take a shop, it was first time I was working on such kind of typology. I didn't knew what to do. So this was when we taken. They had a uh, tiles. We removed the tiles and then added whatever we needed. So we had a lot of permutation combination how we are going to close the shutter. So idea was Dukan bhi hona chahiye or nahi chahiye tab Dukan nahi bhi hona chahiye. So chahiye to Dukan, so when it is not Dukan, it's office. When we want to open, we should be able to open completely. This is the basic sections. The entrance, entrance is small where you, because of the RCC column, you have pause and then you take a left these are the baitak this is my place discussion table model making then there was an interesting requirement this because i was sitting here the one of the collaborators said if you i can't show you my back i want to face you i said why but i can if i can see i can i know what you're working on so no no so that's how we ended up making the table which are hanging which is our legs and they can be moved. So whenever trainees come or the new batch comes, they only move. Otherwise, it remains the way it is. So this is a typical, the way it is planned. Uh, and it's simple. The idea was to move. When it can be moved, it should be moved very fast. So there is a locking system. And then there's a channel which runs this way and this way. So diagonally, there are channels. And then it can be shifted the way you want. So when the bigger place is needed, all can be kept like this. So facade combination when it's closed, it's normal shop, you can open. Normally this is the how much we open. But if it's a very good rainy day, we can open this much. Well, we never tried this permutation while working, but we tried this once. Thank you. The last image also shows after my masters, these are also my masters who taught me throughout uh, how you take the RCC uh, steel column that you don't have a place to move only turn. Sorry. As well as if the 300 kilos stone lintel, how you take them without crane? It was a lot of questions. I said, they, do you have to take a crane? They said, no, don't worry, we'll find. Those are, I don't have a video, but they just put the two old woods of mine and with levers. Yeah, any questions? Uh, good evening, sir. Yeah. Uh, uh, sir, I have a question. I have a question related to your unbuilt project, uh, mm -hmm. where you discuss different states of mind, and then you come with a cylindrical form. So, will you tell us a little about um, how did you perceive that state of mind into cylindrical form? No, that was one of our choice in terms of construction way we are going to construct. Again, it was a very rural site, so we didn't want a corner. Earthquake was one of the reasons. So you make a cylinder was easy. One of the that was one of the construction reasons. Second, 
also for thought process. If you have a corner, there is something to look at. But if you don't have a corner, so other option was making a ellipse. So the solace happens in ellipse. Uh, well, let's see if I can go. I have to go all the way, but first. So solace happens in a bigger space because it has a backyard as well as it has a water body. So uh, depending on a, we envisage the group of 40 people maximum at a stretch, not more than that. So because every cylindrical form is only 6 meter in diameter and height varies from 6, 10, 12. The final model is not here because final model I think was with client. So the documentation happened with the... So I will go. Sorry. Okay. So also for the light. Light falls in a corner. And light falls without corner. Was also one of the... If you see, there's one image from down. This image, if you see... There is, I think first was retrospection where the whole cylinder is a black. So that's the also idea that you have to break from your, once you enter and only has a light, n number of light sources, but very tiny ones, which comes. So you have that time and they all, they are kept six meters apart. That was the reason of the site also. So that in that six meters, how the transition can happen. If I show you one of the sketch before, so I think I, I deleted that slide. There was a transition. So there are very small, small things which we were just playing. Cogitate karoge to open chahiye. Contemplate karoge to niche aana or light sirf side se aega. So last me you can see both ways. So they were also inspect. If I inspect, you want a mirror or not mirror or looking through which part of landscape. So the conscious decision was taken not to have corners. That's how the circle came. There's no other than that reason. And other was the construction technology because it was going to be in bricks. If there are no questions. Good. I can tell one story of how I got into Jeff. Uh, I was going to ask you about that. Well, Jeffrey Baba, at when we were studying, we didn't have an internet, which was good, I think. One way. So we had to do more things. So there's an architect called Rohit Mankar in Bombay uh, who did, we had a research thesis. So he went to study Jeffrey Bawa when I was, uh, I was in second year. And it was always a routine once who goes to study, they will get the slides and show everybody and also give the book. So he gifted a book of Bawa to our school as well as new book, a Lunuganga book and he gave the uh, slide presentation and while seeing the slides without knowing the architect because there was only one white book available on Bawa uh, which was had also had a limitations I said this is the man one should work with without knowing anything about more about Bawa and accidentally Bawa was doing a project with Raul Narutra in Alibak which never happened but that because of that project there was one of my senior was working at Bawa's place Kaid Dungarwala. So Kaid was happened to be there and Kaid dragged me. So it was good connection. So I called Kaid how to get into the office. He said, Bawa is too old. Bawa is not going to check you or anything. You send to this this person and this is his phone number. So you email or now you post the, no, there is no email. So they post the your whatever photocopies of your work and then you take a telephonic conversation. And they only had a requirement if we only have a seven because Bawa reduced office after 92, six peoples. Out of six people, there's one was accountant, one was receptionist. So four architects. Out of four architects, there was senior architect. No, there was a Michana um, Daswate who was a MICD Karke, both the chief practitioner. And there are three architects. Out of that three architects, one was senior and two were trainees. So if I'm lucky, somebody has to go, then only I can replace. And somebody managed, like happened, I was pursuing for nine months, uh, writing it. It is not, and every nine months you have to, like post, say, letter likhna or phone karra. Kya hua? So every time they, the call was, we don't know if anybody is going. 
luckily is one of he is also good architect now in uh, sri lanka he went to do his masters in uk so there was a place available and that's how i actually till i reached to colombo i was not sure whether they are going to give me so i went on a student uh, visiting visa and i said i'm here when i'm joining he said now you are here join so that was one of the things to get in his office caesar was more difficult actually caesar won the pritzker in 91 and he comes from the uh, very known background of europe where people from yale to harvard to cornell everybody is in line who wants to work with him what happened i was studying in delft and i never related uh, dutch architecture to our kind of architecture and that was holland happened just after colombo so it was very good to see the western part but everything is possible because there is a money there is a climate allows you to do glass book boxes but that was not interesting so when i was having the and we set had a very interesting how you say culture where if that student comes indian student used to take care and when indian student goes that student used to take care of them so there was this thais de kroon who always used to invite us not to miss and get cooked indian food by us and he enjoys but it was good so he went and his roommate said if you're going to travel to portugal please look at the work of alvarez until that time i didn't know who is alvarez again the story no internet not i think by the time we had internet but still on a somebody's computer and laptops were too expensive like i think our first laptop was 1 lakh 20000 so laptops in 2004 before four was way more expensive so i on a trail i went to see caesar's work really i admired his work first building i went it was saying in youth hostel somebody said i am going to see this museum do you want to come i went then said let's go and check out his office so i went to see his office in 2000 first thing i checked because i was more worried because there were some people like as i said mankar showed us the bahas work there was a lakhia abhijit lakhia who showed us peter eisenman's work which is like crazy peter eisenman's work is like uh, to work uh, brain image le rahe brain image ke upar ghar bana rahe which i never related and i said ye bhi aap bhi aise kaam karega to hum nahi kaam kar sakenge so i went there is a bright kelly karke ek interesting architect tha i rang the bell somebody opened the door brad kelly happened to be there he showed me around so my first question was kaun sa software use karte so you only need to know autocad i said okay done <laughs> second you should know how to make model i said that is also done and i then i applied to caesar gavel work but because as i said there are more people in queue it never happened then i came back again as the college goes on you become a secretary president you're more involved in all student life than doing the architecture but there's a moment you have to know where you have to get out and set allows you to do it was force design thesis as well as research thesis so design thesis was easy you top everything and then you don't know what to do with research and if you're not a research person it becomes more difficult and then i went to anantra ji anantra ji said are baba <laughs> if you are not a research person find the some design thing and finish in 6 months so it's okay but accident unfortunately we lost kurlawar ke same time he i wanted to make him my guide and then nilkan chaya had all so it was a long story no and i decided my topic to work on caesars so my project my research this was approach to architecture work of alvar caesar because there was hardly there was only one book by then in sept library and that was also not a great book 2002 2002 2001 i had to submit so 2001 i had to submit the subject so 2002 committee said you can not study caesar sitting here and i said okay there is a lady called sona sanchati she could study film for me ko maki i will also study and i found she had a guide raju katpali i went to raju raju i said you help her help me also So Raju said yes, but after one month said I said it's a trap. Raju don't know the subject, and that time internet really helped. Internet was just on. I had my email address. I wrote to the college of faculty of architecture, University of Porto, 
to whom ever it may concern i am so and so i am looking for a guide to help me for my subject and so i was involved in a academic secretary finishing off all my job and i knew ek mahine mein to next next aayega fir thesis khatam karna hai after one month that time i was giving my response to somebody else i received the email from faculty of architecture institute of porth please send what is your research proposal and by the time i think i already spent 4 months so i knew what i'm doing so i sent everything and 3 weeks back they said we are submitted in front of the committee which i didn't know what because the portuguese school you are awarded a extraordinary student scholarship you can come over i said okay <laughs> I thought it's like a delf, na. So I said very nice, very nice. And I went. No, then I wrote, "What you give in a scholarship?" I said, "Scholarship, me to paisa milega." <laughs> no, but we don't give. You have to pay. I said, "You have to pay." It means what? No, you, because you are in extraordinary student category. You have to pay for your guide. I said, "How much?" He said, "Okay, we'll waive you because you are first Indian who are coming to us. We'll waive you." I said, "Very good." <laughs> I went with my CD. And there used to be a zip drive. Then I went, and see by then, set was evolved. In terms of we had our computer lab, people who could not afford the laptop. Everybody had a times. People could write. Everybody had a storage space. I'm not there. I'm not computer lab. Any. I said I'm with CD, with no command. I I think I taken the loan for two thousand euros. to finish my things and my father said i can't pay you because your elder brother is getting married I said, good <laughs> so i went there and i went and they said we don't have a computer lab i said you don't have computer lab i have only have cd <laughs> so they said you check with your guide and i went to meet next day guide and guide said there is no place in i said i will work free for your office whole day i will work in the night i will work on this he said no there is no place So there, and I went only for three months because my brother was getting married. So I could not also buy extra time. And in three months, I had to finish whatever has been. Third day, I went to fight with the international uh, office who takes the student. I said, "Kaisa tumara college hai?" So I went and I was like, "What to do? If you can't, and by the time I checked the cost of laptops, they were none of them were cheaper than eighteen hundred euros." so that was out of my question so he said somebody was listening to my conversation i was little agitated actually by then because my third day only cd so this was a professor who asked me strange question like what do you think about domestic living this was a translation of a portuguese question into english i said what do you mean domestic no modern domestic living So I said, I mean lifestyle. He said, yeah, yeah, yes, lifestyle. And actually, this he was a vice dean of faculty of architecture. And I answered what I could answer. And next day, he crossed me and said, what happened? I said, I'm still waiting. I'm with Sidi. So he said, let's have a deal. You work with me, work for me. I will give you computer. Without knowing him, I said yes. Because as by then I was desperate for day. And he turned to vice dean. Uh, economist urbanist phenomenal person still very respectable and contact he gave me best place in university uh, 124 hours access to internet uh, to library and i was in between i was not a professor i was not a student i was assistant research assistant whatever you can say and he wanted to have somebody english speaking person to work With Palermo and Madrid school on one of the workshop we wanted to conduct. I said good. So we were working. Good thing I only had to work for one day in a month on that thing, whole day. And at the end of the day, I used to get. I'm a vegetarian, unfortunately, so I had to get good restaurant dinner free. And we discussed what to do with workshop. Three months went. I came back. And I thought Port Portugal is closed down. Yeah. So in between, what good thing happened was I met Caesar a lot of times because he was my subject of my study. He knew who I am. He had a very good memories uh, spending uh, 
apartment, sharing apartment with Bivi Doshi. So that was good connection again. Uh, good food of Indian food, that was another connection. I had taken the BDs because I knew he smokes a lot. So that was also one good connection. And my professor were his classmates. So it worked out very well. And he was a very sincere person. I had taken two interviews with him for my research. He gave 100% time when I was due for me, explained. Like very like a child, while student time, where you ask questions. Like, see the questions were, my questions were like student level. So what do you think? Uh, one of the question was, uh, you, I think, therefore I am, or I am, therefore I think. Which you, which one we will choose? He said, I will choose both. Sometimes I am, therefore I think, and sometimes I think, therefore I am. And then it went, then I said, this was an interesting question, student time. No? So, like, you have a 40 years of practice. What architecture means for you? <laughs> so, like, very serious question. And he, like, very politely says, earn money to run the practice. I said, what? <laughs> that was a, then there's a pause. And then he said, of course, to do architecture, you have to have a compassion commitment, convince, all this, then there's a big answer, but it opened, he said, then I said, how you can answer that? He said, if you don't have basic things, how can you run the show? So that was a good, because there was no, there was no theoretical great answer, it was straightforward. So there was a very beautiful uh, relation I developed by then. And yeah, and then because of my brother getting marrying, so I had to come back. I came back and I submitted thesis. No, when I came back, then the new story started. I could not ignore Raju Katpali also. Because Raju Katpali said, no, I am your guide. I said, no, I had a guide. He said, no, I am a good guide. I said, okay, I will respect you. I will be, you also be guide and he also be guide. So he said, no, because as I was in the subject, my thesis had a very small images and big drawings of the subject. He said, no, no, increase. And by that time, I was working on some software called Framework, Frame, Frame Maker, which was not available in India. Anyway, that story went. And then my professor who hired me for that workshop calls me or emails me. Boy, that workshop is coming. When are you coming back? He said, no, I'm back. I can't come back. He said, no, no, you have to come back. So I said, okay, what you give me? He said, I will give you a place to stay. <laughs> but I had a visa, so I said, no, that is not enough. I can't, I, I already have a loan, I can't take more loan to come to you. Then I went to my father. Father said, uh, because ho gaya tha tak. Teen So I finished my thesis. I was finishing my thesis actually. And then this, uh, I told my professor, at least give me one way ticket. I can beg for one way ticket return. He said, okay, one way ticket and accommodation for two months. Two months because I was going to, in between, I accidentally met Christopher. Christopher said, join me. Okay. So, I said, I have two months to go to Europe. There is a visa, everything is good. I had a little I went back and uh, accommodation was his house. So there was no, I, I, it was the same street I used to stay with uh, him. And then in between I went to, like this workshop was happening, workshop finished I think and I extended my one month stay before joining to Christopher. So I stayed and in between there was a time and I taken the appointment of Caesar to gift my thesis. Lux are in your favor so I went. This was Sunday. And he had a given appointment to some Spanish journalist big theorist, like uh, same quality of uh, either Kenneth Frampton ke level ka koi tha. So, thi gaya, mein bula, mein aara ho pehle, to mein gaya. To mein gaya to, because he was anyway waiting. He had time, he opened my research, he started reading. The certain things in the research, which was, because I interviewed too many people by then, certain things which was very subjective, personal, where he got married, how it affected his architecture or Kuch kuch baate thi logo ke nahi likhi bhi uske baare mein. He read and he said, how was it in this school? I said, people appreciate it. The next question was, what are you going to do in future? 
ऐसे सवाल तो किसी पूछा नहीं But I want to work with you. He and that was my answer, and same time, this journalist entered. He wanted to get rid of me. अभी हो गया भाई तेरा काम हो गया भी journalist आ गया. So he said, now you go. I said no, but we just had a discussion. He said, no, yeah, future, but come future. I said my future is next month. He said, no, no, no. Then by the time he want to get rid of me, he told me come again. And I could extend my had a visa, so I could extend my return journey. So it went and went. I think I met him twenty times afterwards. So there is no hierarchy. So you have to meet Caesar. If he hires you, that's all. So one of the meeting, he used to see my face and used to want to run away from me. And I was like, I don't have time. I said, Are you going down? He said, Yes. So our meeting is to be in lift. He said, I don't have place to work. I said, Okay, I will stand and work. He said, I don't have a computer. I said, I will work on model. So it went, went. So last, and I every ten days I used to extend my return ticket. And I had by the time I had a good friends who could host me, but I was finishing my money also. So then twentieth meeting I think I went and I went with the. भाई आज नहीं बोला ना वो क्रिस्टोफर रुखा हुआ है तो विल गो बैक सो ट्वेंटी मीटिंग वॉज अ संडे सैटरडे अगेन समबडी सैटरडे संडे आर ऑफ बट सीज आर वर्क सो वी वेन टेन टेन ओ क्लॉक आई वेट एंड ई रीच ही एंटर एट टेन थर्टी सो माई फेस ई सेट लाइक रियली एंग रियली आई वो मीटिंग विथ इटालियंस आई विल वेट बाई टाइम आई लाइक आज हाई या ना करके जाएंगे सो इटालियंस के साथ मीटिंग है तो मैं बोला ठीक है सो मीटिंग वेंट टिल टू थर्टी ही केम बैक एंड ई सॉ मी ई जस्ट इग्नोर मी देन वेंट फॉर लंच केम बैक ही सॉ मी ही इग्नोर मी फोर थर्टी ही वेंट एंड आई एम टेकिंग द इटालियंस टू शो द वाइनरी आई सेट ओके आई विल वेट सिक्स ही केम बैक एंड ई सॉ मी ही सेट आई एम वेरी टायर्ड I said, okay, I will wait. <laughs> he went in his room, taken a break. Six thirty came out of his room. There are Pritzker and everything was lying like he had a chest long of carbuz here. He went. I don't know what he thought in half an hour. I was alone for almost eight hours waiting, and I was desperate because I didn't have money to buy cheese. Also by then, only had a money to return. It was a crazy situation. Tha. Then there was a Sid Mandiratta karke. Uh, he was a scholar also in KRV. Uh, he became my friend. I said, "To Goa, Hara, I will give you money." All, all, all. We are friends. We are going to go. All the money I will give you. All the money. Then he came at six thirty. He said, "Come." He was unfortunately very angry. So what you want? I said, "This is our twentieth time we are meeting. You know what I want." <laughs> he said, "I am sick of your insisting." I said, but I really want to work with you, and if I go back, I don't have money to come back. And he said, okay. Then he called two phones, and he found this museum, Madre um, uh, Museum of Art, Contemporary Donna Regina was the project. He was just just going to have it, so he called the files, and he said, come on Sunday. So he also wanted to test whether I'm really interested. So Sunday I started making models, and that was another test. So because it didn't stop there. It was worse. The first month happened. No, I went on Monday. Siza went to his uh, site visits. Monday I entered, welcoming gesture from the accountant. Hi, I said yes. Hello, good day. Good morning. And then she said, Siza told us you are going to only stay for one month. I said what? <laughs> Because I already wrote Christopher that I am not coming. And I said okay. I said I will have a word with Chris, uh, Siza afterwards. I didn't say anything to her because. Then I made them all because, believe me, this was not a situation where I was prepared. I didn't have a portfolio, nothing to show him what I do. I only had my research thesis, which was on him. <laughs> so, <laughs> so one month went. I was unpaid. In that time, I think that time really problem of cheese or buying anything was started. Second month happened. So I went. Siza very politely. Siza. Uh, I don't have money. He said, "Okay, why you want money?" I said, "To pay my landlord. How much?" I said, "One eighty euros." 
So he gave me check of 180 euros. I said, what about that? I didn't say anything. <laughs> so my, at least that, take, that is taken care of one month. Then I went again. Siza, I don't have money. I said, why? For what? I said, for food. So I think by, by the time I performed, he knew how what I make because we were progressing with the design also. So there was a model happened, design happened. And then he said, I will pay you. I said, I know, but can you write down? Because he said, why? I said, tomorrow you are again not there. So he wrote three weeks he was going to travel in Brazil. So he wrote down. And after that, we made a contract project started. And I stayed for three and a half years till the project happened. <laughs> but it was a great learning. I think good mentors really teach you what not to do. And that was the biggest learning, I think. And we had a very interesting conversation because we could say, you are charging too much. He said, no, no, I'm not charging too much. I'm charging less than Foster. And that was fact. <laughs> or there were some projects he was doing. Very interesting. Some projects he was doing in Venice. As a fees, because it was very open, transparent. As a fees, he was only getting 40,000 euros for that project. And the architect on that project was, he was going to spend on that architect around 60,000 euros for a month. For a year. And my project, I was in three years, he must have spent 40,000 because I was not a senior architect, 40,000 euros. And project was paying 9,36,000. So, but I had a very curious question. See the, like, because he was, he used to say, great man, he used to explain you why you want to do this project. Why you're doing the Venice project. Once in a lifetime, you get next to build, next to Palladio. The first one, then you don't question. So it was very interesting. Sometimes, like the museum which I was doing, he came up with a detail which was so difficult to execute, and it was going to be nightmare with engineers and with us. And he only draws, and then the rest of rest is with us. So I asked Caesar, "Why you want to do this? Just to differentiate the language of architecture." because it was old and the new, how you combine. So there what he wanted to do is he wanted to change the uh, spanning system of construction. And because Naples, it's a South Italy has a high earthquake zone, had a lot of seismic problems. So doing anything, a long span with uh, team members was difficult. But it was always a very good relations. Last, uh, like the entry was nice. Exit was also very dramatic. Uh, exit was, what happened, I was engaged before I went. My wife was doing masters in medicine and we both had, didn't have time to marry. So she was continuing what she was doing, I was doing what I was doing. But I said, now I knew she was going to finish and it's good time to marry. Because I was also finishing my project. So I said, can you draw my wedding card? Wedding God for me. So what? I said, Ganesha. So what is Ganesha? So I showed this is a Ganesha. And he remembered because he visited India. So do Ganesha. And that was my wedding card. Wedding was in January. I was going to finish in December. And everybody smartly take. And to take holiday, you have to go. Siza, I want a holiday. Then Siza marks the holidays for you. At that. Because he runs the controls everything. He only, if you want a, more money, you have to go, see that, can you, now I am working two years with you, can you increase? Very nice person, but so, he realized, everybody is taking holiday. So there was a tenth person who went and asked the holiday, same time. So he said, why you want a holiday? And this Italian guy, very nice, said, to go to a sort of wedding. <laughs> God gracious, then he called me, I, do you think you are rich, you are getting whole office for your wedding, you are shutting, because the office didn't have a hierarchy, so it's an interesting office, very few offices in the world, I think, it doesn't have a hierarchy, it was Caesar, and then I think all the soldiers, <laughs> so soldiers going means Caesar is a soldier, so 15, eight peop, 9 people coming means 15 projects, a phone call comes for 15 days, Caesar has to answer. <laughs> which he never did in his lifetime. So that was another story and it was a lot of, he was so angry with me. 
if you are going to close down my office you think i said sir but you only designed my wedding card there was another jokes <laughs> happening but anyway finally he was happy he sent me serigraphy and recently i met him 6 7 years back so it is all still very nice relations he writes once in a once in a year we write once in a year so i think it's already <laughs> is a nice memory to be with <laughs> and float in so if anyone has a burning question we can take it but uh, otherwise i think uh, we should be in the memory of the master and the uh, disciple it's still working huh? as 85 plus designing the entrance of granada crazy the amount he draws I thought I am a gold medalist from SEP. To his face, there was an infinity of paper. Everything he draws. Like you want to explain, he will draw. Grandmother's pendant, no, mother's pendant. His mother was turning hundred when we were there. He was explaining. Then uh, Frank Gehry is coming. First time, there was one very funny when Caesar uh, uh, Doshi came. That is also interesting memory. We just closed down after this memory. <laughs> he found when. Doshi came for Pritzker jury as a Pritzker jury to South Omora. Uh, Jurors were Frank Gehry, South Omora, uh, Doshi, some lord from England, and one from America. And Caesar was invited because Caesar nominated, I think, uh, South Omora. So Caesar came, and Caesar asked very, like, seeing the uh, uh, the Doshi after almost ten, twelve years, said. They related and said, Doshi, how old are you? So Doshi said, I am, that time he, I think in 2002, Doshi must be 75 and Siza was 70. Oh, you look younger to me. What is the reason? He said, I will teach you. Doshi is another story. Na? I will explain you how to become younger. So he said, okay, come. So then there was a conversation happened. First time in our studio, Caesar's table was clean. And Toshi was performing yoga on Caesar's table. <laughs> and like a child, Caesar was drawing every moment of Toshi. One minute in, one minute out. And all we, th this fun was never there in the studio. Studio was very serious because everybody had their own play. All Japanese, everybody left their work drawing and taking photographs. Then Caesar. Do you take permission of Doshi to take a photograph? So she said, no, no, let them take, let them take. It will help you only. So that was also interesting. These are the fun. Then on my birthday, because birthday happened to be, my birthday was on a, when Doshi came. So for some reason, Sita said, you also come for the lunch. And Doshi being a vegetarian, I being a vegetarian, he went to take us one of the very good restaurants where there is no menu. You say, dal bati kaana, dal bati bhi ban so it's a, that kind of horizontal it was. And then next day, hey, who paid? I said, of course, Caesar paid. <laughs> because Caesar was like an I always related. He paid 5 euro bhi diya na, di cigarette ke liye, 60 cents wapas mangi. Which was nice. Like he had that way of training. There was a French boy who thought, I am with Caesar. I will be like going to, uh, mereko koi gaadi lene aega, limousine lene aega. Uh, client ke saath or client leke jayega. So first sight visit is expense him. There is a 7.30 train. You go from here to here. From there you take a city bus. You reach here and from there client will pick you. So that was very real, how you say, ground realities to work with. Yeah, that's all. Thank you, Saurabh, for these lovely inspiring stories uh, and thank you all for joining uh, this marks the closure of this season of the conversations and we'll meet you in the next semester thank you thank you so much